Um, was that more nervous than it needed to be? Just one nil against a team that already relegated. Um, I don't know what in the Premier League was needed to be. That's a hard one. I think um, ideally, when you get the first goal, you go and score one or two more. When you look at the action from last night with Manchester United and Leicester, the games that are going on, it's so intense at the minute and where the business end. I think you um, you take your three points. We didn't give them any real chances in the game. Um, yeah, there, there were lots about our game that I like to be a bit better. We could be quicker with the ball. We could have more rotation. We could cause them more problems. But we defended well enough and um, we get our three points. OK, Nazar Kinsella. Hi, Frank. I think you've already had a lot of questions about Olivier Giroud, but I just thought one aspect of his play that is always good and was good today is the way he links up with the wingers and particularly Pulisic. Um, have you seen a partnership and a connection developing there between those two? Yeah, I, yeah, I hope so. I think so. We, we clearly saw that with the goal and um, I was delighted with Christian's movement to, get, to run behind on the little angle because that's what we weren't doing in the early stages in the game. Um, and then Oli, Oli will always be alive in the box. So those sort of if you're playing on Louis Giroud, you want to get balls in the box. You know, you, you need to play to his strengths. Um, and he and he gets a really good goal. But yeah, uh, the link up is good. Uh, generally, it could have been better. A lot of balls went astray for us today when normally we're a bit slicker with the with the passing. Um, but um, again, job done. Duncan Wright. Duncan Wright. Unmute yourself, Dunk. Sorry, Frank. It was taking me ages to get in there. Um, good result for you today. Obviously, um, I think it's four points you need from the, the, the remaining matches. Is it a case of bottle now for your side? No. I mean, I keep talking about mentality and I don't like the word bottle too much, but when you're coming up against Liverpool away and Wolves at home, it's just two really good opponents. So, you know, we just have to focus on those games one by one. Um, prepare right. Show the right attitude. I thought we showed it today in a way. Those two games will look completely different to what tonight did. Um, but I would rather than talk about bottle, I want to talk about focus and I want to talk about attitude. And um, and then hopefully we have enough to, to get through, but it's going to be tough. Aidan McGee. Just unmute yourself, Aidan. Sorry. Frank, did the players have a little bit of a lift going into the game, given that really big goal by Southampton last night? I know you had to win anyway, but um, it, I'm sure it gave them a little bit of a boost, didn't it? I, I actually didn't speak to them about it today because, you know, I think I had mentioned other games around us. We all saw the game. I don't think we, I, ha, I have to say that to them today. We know that, you know, if a team around you has a moment like that, you want to capitalise. We've failed to do so at other times in the season. And all I wanted to do was make sure that we... Uh, did our job tonight and I felt tonight was about us if we against a team that's just been relegated with all due respect um, here at home if we get our job done right we, we get the three points and we did do that Jack Rathbourne Hi Frank um, yeah I just wanted to ask you about your thoughts on how you controlled the end of the game um, obviously you didn't get the second goal um, and how that has been a theme throughout the season how do you assess how your team controlled the, the end of the game yeah, we, we controlled it well. One of the things I was pretty pleased with, you know, I made a couple of changes and um, moved Aspie over to the other side. They brought Wendia on, who's a dangerous player who comes off the line. And I just, you know, we were attacking a fair bit still down the sides and I just felt that it was time for security and security of pass. We had 10 or 15 minutes sort of midway through the second half where we got sloppy again and we got slow and we passed back on ourselves. It's a trait that we have that comes back in our game. Uh, but we got out of that and we finished it well. OK, last two, Nick Kirill and then Tim McGuire. Hi, Frank. Um, obviously, Ruben uh, started tonight and is looking uh, sharp all the time. Um, now that he's sort of putting his injuries behind him, uh, you know, towards for the end of this season and uh, next, could he be almost like a new signing for you? Uh, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. It's difficult for Ruben right now because of how long he's had out and because of the stop-start of lockdown and restart. Um, but he's worked really, really hard to get to where he's at now. And in terms of his body and his fitness, and we have to give him a little bit of credit here and a bit of time. These these games now, he started today, he's made little impacts along the way. It may look like that for him in these next few games. Um, but what I want is a Ruben firing and, and straight out of the blocks for, for pre-season and next season, because I know the talent that he has. I know what he can bring us. It's just very individual. It's different to what uh, the rest of the squad bring us with his physicality and his, his touch on the ball. Um, so I'm pleased he's back and around it. Those minutes are doing really good. And last question, Tim McGuire. 
Yeah, hi, Frank. Um, hi. I just wanted to ask, obviously, this has been a unique season for so many reasons. And obviously, as a first-year coach at Chelsea yourself, it's obviously been a tough challenge, you know, dealing with everything that's happened. But I just wanted to know that considering you've got your top four chances, uh, your top four fates in your hands, you're still in two cup competitions. How do you assess where this squad is at and the development that you've seen over this year? Well, well I, th I think we can be pretty happy with where we're at right now. Now, I don't want to jump the gun because we have games that are going to be really pivotal on where we actually finish. But if we would have said we would have been in third and, and contesting like we are and in the FA Cup and Champions League, I know it's going to be really tough, but we're in, we got through the group stage. Um, and you see the transition of the team and the youth and uh, the issues we've had. A lot of our players were on loan last year and, and some of them, a lot most of those in the championship. I think we can be, we can be pretty happy. But I, I really do feel like there's a lot of work to do. I don't think we should get overly excited. The gap is clear with Liverpool and Manchester City in terms of points. We are um, in a situation here where we're in a, we're in a work in progress uh, and there is a lot to do. So I'm happy. And I want a lot more. And when we come back for the start of next season, however this season ends, we have to tackle it and say, can we start closing that gap? And it's going to be a tough job. Okay, that's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.